Hi friends, so today we are going to make Japanese curry. Okay, so I have the curry mix, onion, a little bit of ginger, garlic, and some carrots. Here I'm also using potatoes because you can't not have potatoes. And some chicken that I slice into small pieces. Here I have oil in the pan, heating it up. Now I'm ready to saute the onion first. Putting in the onion. to put our ginger here I'm adding ginger because I want to get that um, the curry flavor more so I'm adding, adding a little bit of ginger now I'm adding the garlic we're just getting the aroma out I'm not sauteing it for a long time just for a little bit Now we're ready to put our chicken. Here I slice the chicken in small pieces. Um, I'm adding the chicken one at a time because I don't want to overcrowd the pan. Um, want to brown it just a little bit. Speed it up. Mix. Now I'm adding my vegetable. First I add the carrots. Mix it up. Then the potatoes. Now we're ready to add waters. Here I'm adding two cups of water. And I'm gonna add a quarter more. Now we're gonna let this boil for hmm, like six minutes. While waiting, um, we're gonna open this curry, Japanese curry mix. Here I'm using the golden curry that I got from the store. It. and we're gonna cut this into um, smaller pieces so it'll be easier to dissolve here now I think it's ready so we're gonna put our um, Japanese curry mix Now stir, make sure it's dissolved. It's mixed, mixed in together. Cover it until the potato and the carrots soft, soften. Okay, it can still go for a little more minutes because um, I think the broth is not thick enough yet. So stir it making sure it's all all mixed in and then we're gonna cover it for just a little more minutes like maybe five then voila it's all ready to go don't forget your rice it'll taste good with with a rice okay Yum. Let's eat. 